Hey folks, welcome to the second part on our sacrilegious DIY violin kit videos. On the previous video we unboxed this thing and we saw that a few parts are missing, so we have some fabrication to do. Let's start with the base bar. Make a base bar. We'll take a base, like this magnificent Gibson here. And just a second. Hello, we can't make a base bar out of a base. Dave 504 is gonna come after us. All right, let's do it the other way. To make the base bar, we'll take this piece of spruce and cut it to shape to match the inside of the violin. We'll glue it in place and then we cut it to the final shape once it's in the air. First, I'm gonna clean up the inside of this thing because they left it very fuzzy and splintery. The base bar has to go in a very precise location, so I need to do a little bit of math here. One hour later. Yeah, perfect fit. Now let's glue it. The next day. bar. You're gonna get covered in wood chips. Now that the base bar is roughly carved, I want to check the frequencies of the plate to have an idea of what this wood is even doing. And one way you see people do it is with the tapping. You see luthiers tapping and listening. We're looking for an F. I think that's an F. There's the perfect pitch gang. A more visually interesting way of doing it is with something called the Cladney patterns. The way this works, I'm going to support the plate on specific points, and then I'm going to sprinkle the top with some particulates. And in this case, it's just tea from a tea bag. Then I'm going to stimulate the plate with signal from a tone generator and a speaker placed at a very specific location. Once we reach the right frequency, the particles in the surface are going to literally start bouncing off and form a pattern. And that pattern gives us clue about the quality of the overall proportions of this whole thing. That according to the theory should be 75 hertz and I got 88 hertz, so it's a little off. Let's see what the other ones are looking like. So I have to reset it. Now 
now resetting for mode 5. And we got 354, so it's pretty good. I still have to finish carving the base part. I'm gonna get the end pinhole started here, so it's easier to clean up the insides later. We're pretty much ready to close it, I'm just going to leave a note for posterity here. I don't use labels on my instruments, I actually use a hallmark stamp instead. This will happen really fast. the next day. So it's time to address the part that I've been dreading the most, the neck of the violin. And I have a confession to make, necks intimidate me. They are the most complicated part for me to carve. Uh, it takes me about three weeks to make a neck, so don't screw up. <laughs> and. Uh, but this one is mostly finished. I just need to get rid of some of the tool marks. They have it. It has a big lump here that needs to be addressed. And polish the shape up a little. So I'm going to use a series of scrapers and files and sandpaper. And my trusted curved little chisel that I'm told Garnier Del Gioso had one just like this. So here we go. me like this. Uh, yes, I love you too, but I'm working here. wasn't that bad, I just prettied up the shape, I removed the machine marks, the tooling marks, but I still left some of its characteristic, you still want to know that this was made by hand. So now the next step, I'm going to temporarily attach the fingerboard and then make the mortise to attach it to the rest of the body of the violin.
the next day. I have to finish the bottom area now. While we're at it, let's give the basic shape to this nut, shall we? It's good enough for now, I'll finish shaping it once I'm setting it up. Now to get crispy ready for varnish, we'll pop off the fingerboard. This should come right off. Might make a scary noise. There we go. And we'll put him in the UV chamber to get a little suntan. While Crispy tans back there, we'll conclude this video on this building process here. Violin varnishing is a pretty complex process that will take several days and with my personal scheduling consideration I felt it would be better to just split this video in two. In the upcoming video we'll finish building and trying out Crispy and if it sounds good we'll do the giveaway. I'll give the details then, at this point I still don't know what this violin is going to sound like, it could be okay, it could be great or it could have been a complete waste of our time. <laughs> we'll find out. Until then, Thank you so much for your comments and opinions and questions. I appreciate how involved this community has been of this project. Thank you, Ash thanks you too, and thank you for watching. See you next time. I can see why people like these things. Look at it, this is a sexy instrument. Look at it.